actual variation of the number of states with energy. Consider any macroscopic system at room temperature. Uh, use the definition of absolute temperature to find the percentage increase in the number of states accessible to such a system uh, when its energy is increased by 10 to minus 3 electron volt. Suppose that such a system absorbs a single photon of visible light having a wavelength 5 times 10 to minus 5 centimeters. By what factor does the number of states accessible to the system increase as a result? So we have a microscopic system at room temperature. We want to use the definition of absolute temperature. Definition of absolute temperature, beta is 1 over kT that is equal to the derivative of a natural logarithm of the number of accessible states with respect to energy. So we would like to know uh, the percentage increase in the number of accessible uh, states percentage increase in omega uh, when the system absorbs an energy delta E which is in part A 10 to minus 3 electron volts and in part B it is uh, the energy of a photon a single photon that is being absorbed okay so uh, if we start from the definition of the absolute temperature uh, which I have noted next to the problem statement. The definition of the absolute temperature is uh, beta is defined as 1 over kT, which is, once again, I'm writing the same thing here, the derivative, partial derivative of natural logarithm of number of accessible states as a function of energy with respect to energy. So this is basically telling us uh, in the uh, delta form the change in the number of accessible states natural logarithm is beta times the change in energy or the amount of energy being absorbed. So what is delta ln omega? Delta ln omega, change in ln omega, is ln omega at energy E plus delta E minus ln omega at energy E. And this must be equal to beta times delta E. So uh, here we can see that using the property of the natural logarithm, this is ln omega e plus delta e divided by omega e, which is beta delta e. So this is telling us that the ratio uh, omega e plus delta e to omega at energy e ratio is equal to exponential beta delta e. So the question is about the percentage increase in the number of states. So what is the percentage increase in the number of accessible states? This will be omega at e plus delta e minus omega at energy e divided by the reference number of accessible states at energy e, omega e, multiplied by 100. And as you can see here, since the omega of e plus delta e is omega of e, e to the beta delta e, minus omega e divided by omega at energy e multiplied by 100. So I find that this basically is equal to, because the 
omega e is a common factor here, so it is going to disappear. Um, this will be equal to uh, e to the beta delta e minus 1 times 100. So basically this is what we are supposed to calculate in part A and part B. So let's keep this uh, as the percentage increase in the number of accessible states when there is a change of energy delta E. So for part A uh, this KT value is beta to minus 1 it is 25 milli electron volt or uh, which is equal to 1 over 40 electron volt at room temperature so this is something we already know we also discussed this in the previous problem so the factor beta times delta E is uh, 40, so it is 1 over 40 electron volts, 40 to, 1 over 40 to minus 1, that is beta, times delta E. And delta E is 10 to minus 3 electron volts here. So here I have delta E is equal to 10 to minus 3 electron volts. So this will give me 40 times 10 to minus 3, uh, 0. 0, 04 for beta times delta e and what i'm supposed to calculate is uh, e to the beta delta e minus 1 times 100 so i substitute for beta delta e 0 0.04 minus 1 times 100 and if you calculate this you find that this is going to give you 4% as the answer. And for part B, uh, now I have an absorption of a single photon, which means there is an energy being absorbed that is H nu or Hc over lambda, Planck's constant times speed of light divided by the wavelength of light or Planck's constant times frequency. That's the amount of energy we're absorbing. For lambda is equal to uh, 5 times 10 to minus 5 centimeters. That is the visible light in the mid mid middle of visible spectrum. 5 times 10 to minus 7 meters. You can calculate this photon energy as H nu or Hc over lambda. It's the Planck's constant 6.62. 10, 10 to minus 34 joule seconds speed of light 3 times 10 to 8 meters per second divided by the wavelength of light 5 times 10 to minus 7 and you can see that the photon energy is 3.97 10 to minus 19 joules and this you can convert to electron volts by dividing it by the electron charge 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs so this gives us roughly 2.5 electron volts so now I can calculate the factor beta times delta E so this is uh, 1 over uh, 40 which is 20 1 over 40 inverse or 40 or I can write this as 1 over uh, 25 milli electron volts 0 0.025 uh, times 2.5 so you can see that this is going to give us a factor of 100 so uh, then I can calculate e to the beta delta e minus 1 times 100 as e to the 100 minus 1 times uh, 100 so uh, this is going to give us uh, roughly 
2.69 times 10 to the 45 percent so the increase in the uh, number is 2.69 10 to 43 percentage increase is 10 10 to 45 and in part B it says by what factor does the number of states increase so it's not the percentage we're looking for it's the factor with which it increases it is 2.69 10 to 43 okay <clears throat> so we're trying to calculate the variation of the number of states with energy energy being absorbed by the system or change in energy of the system we use the definition of absolute temperature which is 1 over kt equals uh, the derivative with respect to energy of natural logarithm of number of accessible states and this gives us that the percentage increase in the number of accessible states should be e to the beta delta e minus 1 times 100 or the factor incre uh, of increase is e to the beta delta e minus 1 so in part A, we have a delta E of 10 to minus 3 electron volts. KT value is 1 over 40 or 25, 1 over 40 EV or 25 milli electron volts at room temperature. So we substitute the numbers and we find 4% increase. For a wavelength of 5 times 10 to minus 7 meters in the middle of the visible spectrum, we find a photon energy. 3.97 10 to minus 19 joules being absorbed uh, and that corresponds to 2.5 electron volts and the corresponding factor of change in the number of accessible states is 2.69 10 to 43.